Welcome to Creative Emotions by Jennifer. Today we're going to do a video tutorial on glass cutting with wine bottles. So the first thing you're going to need to do is gather a few supplies. You're going to need a wine bottle. Make sure that it's clean um, and you've gotten all the uh, sticker residue off. It's just a regular wine bottle. Um, I just soaked it in water and scrubbed it with a Brillo pad. You can use whatever method you want of removing your stickers. Um, you're also going to need a wine bottle cutter, which I just purchased at the craft store. Um, um, and in my method of cutting glass, I use a steamer. Um, hot and cold is a method that many people use after scoring your bottle. Um, instead of heating up pots and pots of water, I chose to use my steamer. Just something I thought about, tried, and it works. You're also going to need in your sink what I chose to use. Um, I noticed when we first started trying cutting the bottles, we were holding the bottles um, by their necks after we scored um, and using the hot and the cold. And my theory is that we were the stress cracks were coming from holding the bottle and the weight of it. So we were getting cracks all up the bottle and ended up with a lot of just messed up bottles. So um, at the same time that I figured out the steamer method, I decided the less I have to handle the bottle, the less stress marks um, to put on, the less stress I need. So um, this was from an old microwave. It's just a little stand. You can use anything you want. Um, I place it in my sink, and then I also covered it with some cloth just for some cushioning. Um, and then placing that in my sink, and then I place my bottle after it's been scored on top of that, and then just roll it back and forth, which you'll see in the video. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, you've got your bottle. It's all nice and clean. You take your um, glass score, glass cutter. Um, this part goes into the top of your bottle. You can adjust the size, the height, how you want to cut the bottle, if you want it on an angle, if you would like it straight. It's all adjustable, so the sky's the limit. Um, I chose to make it a little higher for this one, so you just place the top in here. Um, at first, it was a little difficult when I was figuring out how to do this. I, I kept slipping, and I'd have lines, and then, of course, my bottle would cut differently. So what um, I do is just hold it in, um, back up here a little bit, hold it in with my thumb and the bottle so I have a good hold on it. It's not going to go anywhere. Place it on here and instead of turning the tool, I actually started turning the bottle. Um, this helps it all just stay together and, and I don't mess up. Um, you just need to very lightly score it, only going around the bottle one time. You don't want too deep of a cut. Um, it, it doesn't help to go around more than once. It actually may just harm it and won't cut or won't cut properly. So just go ahead and make your turn, holding it and not moving it. And you are here when you get around to where you started. It will get just a little bit louder. And now as you're going to end up with, it's very hard to see. You probably can't see it on this. Oh, yes, you can. Look, it's right there. Okay. You are going to end up, it looks like a piece of hair on the bottle. That's your score line. That's all you need. Okay, so now that we've made our score marks, we are going to start um, with the hot and the cold. And what I do is I just place it in my sink, on my stand, um, so there's less stress on the bottle. I don't have to pick it up. I just have to roll it. So I keep my cold water running. It just has to be on uh, low. Um, and then grab your steamer. Um, I use the pointed nozzle. I can direct the heat directly on the score mark. Um, so it makes the cutting a lot easier. And you are going to end up with a perfect cut bottle that you don't, it will not be cracked. You'll see. I apologize for the noise. And if it gets too steamy. You just heat up. Just, just do a little bit at a time. And then roll it under. The cold water. It's nice and hot. And roll it under. And it's going to slowly start cutting it. And you just want to follow your line. Um, it's already separating. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you just follow the separating line. It's very easy to see. It's not hard once it gets going. And you just follow along a little bit at a time. 
Get it nice and heated up. And then roll it under the cold water. And my kids have actually done this. They like doing it. They think it's rather, rather cool. If they can cut glass bottles. Of course, under adult supervision only. Okay, nice and hot, just a little at a time. Roll it under. And it's really simple. I'm probably a little over halfway done. As you can see, it doesn't take very long. And you're gonna get a beautiful cut. There's so many things you can do with these. Okay. Take your time. I know it's tempting to just try to heat up the whole bottle and stuff, but you have better control when you do a little bit at a time. Almost to the end, just have a little bit left to go, and then either pop open, and so I've got it all evenly. Oops, one more little spot. And roll it. you can usually see where you might have missed a spot and sometimes once you get it the bottle just pops and you know you've gotten it so just roll it around this happens so you can tell I have a oh there it is okay beautiful cut so just run it through if it doesn't come apart right away um and like I said it'll pop but as you can see I have a perfectly cut wine bottle it's smooth. Um, I usually take a piece of sandpaper just to run it around the edges to make sure, you know, there's no um, sharp edges, but as you can see, it's beautifully clean cut. It's straight, it's even, and there's so many projects you can do. Okay, it's that easy. Now you know how to cut glass. Step on my blog at Creative Emotions and post a picture of your glass cutting creativity. Until next time, I'm Jennifer from Creative Emotions.